friends. Today I want to talk to you about revelatory dreams. Um, have you ever like grappled with a decision before and the answer came in a dream? This happens to me a lot. So, you know, right or wrong, I look to my dreams a lot of times to help me understand my own motives, my own self. I do believe it's God's way of showing me things I may not be aware of in my conscious life, that revelation that can come in your dreams, whether you believe in God or not, or whether you just think it's the universe or the unconscious mind, whatever. Obviously, there's a lot that goes into that, and I don't want to debate that. But just the fact that dreams are so interesting, um, they can offer great guidance for you to like know what to do in your life. Now, a word of caution, that doesn't mean that just because you're, you do something in your dream that that's what you should do in real life because a lot of times, you know, they're symbolic and they need to be interpreted. You have to determine whether it is a literal dream or whether it's symbolic. And I have had a friend ask me recently, well, how do you know? Usually, if it's a decision you're trying to make in the here and now, a lot of times the dream will give you your literal answer. You know what I mean? Um, for example, I, at one point in my life years ago, I was debating going back to school to get my master's degree. I didn't know whether I should or not, whether it was worth spending the money to do it. And so I had been really praying about this and thinking about it. And one night I had a dream in which someone, <laughs> I won't bore you with the details, but basically somebody in the dream told me that I should go back to school. And so of course I took that to mean, okay, I'm enrolling, I'm going because you know, that's not dangerous or anything. It's a good thing. If I had had a dream though, that I was like jumping off a bridge, you better believe I would have interpreted that to be symbolic, right? So, um, use common sense and wisdom and don't do anything, you know, foolish. I mean, they're fun. Dreams are fun to analyze. And I do believe they give you amazing revelation, but I'm just saying, I know, I don't know who could possibly be listening to this, but don't just act impulsively because I had a dream. So now I'm going to do the thing that I dreamt about, even no matter how dumb it is. Um, However, it is interesting that when you have a dream that gives you instruction, you a lot of times will see yourself doing that thing that you're dreaming. So for example, I had a situation where it was, it was beneficial for me to write a letter to someone, you know, with, so with a complaint and I did that and it benefited me greatly. I talked about that in a video, one of my first videos, where it was about when I was building my house and I was unhappy with the timing of it and the builder ended up throwing in all these free things, right? So I benefited from that. But in the dream, I saw myself doing, I think it was actually, I was emailing them about something. I had no intention of doing that, but because I saw myself in the dream do it, I, I went ahead and followed those instructions. Um, also here recently I have, um, I've changed, I'm a teacher. So I now teach fourth grade, which is a new grade to me. And I basically am, you know, having to teach things that I haven't really taught before. So in my dreams, I keep dreaming about things and how to teach that. And it's really interesting because some of them are just amazing revelation. Like for example, I had a dream a week ago or so about how to teach children their multiplication facts and in a way that they could understand them and learn them faster. So I'm going to take that information from the dream and I am going to implement it and do exactly what it said. Um, 
and I'm sure I will see great success. And that's the interesting part of, of the dreams is that honestly, the direction I have taken, I can only speak for myself from my dreams has always been positive when I listen to it. Okay. When I follow it again, if you're not in a good place and spiritually or emotionally, perhaps the information you get might not be good and shouldn't be acted on. So it's going to depend a lot on, you know, where you are in life. If you're in a good positive place, then your dreams could be very helpful. But on the other hand, I don't know, maybe if you're in a bad place, you could see yourself doing terrible things that you should not act out in real life. Okay. So keep that in mind. With that said, let's talk about why the dreams are so helpful. Okay. Um, I was listening to a Ted talk actually just yesterday and I heard something really interesting. I actually wrote it down. I can't remember who the person was, but it was a researcher and she talked about how it is so difficult for us through the use of introspection to really uncover our own thoughts, feelings, and motives of our, of ourselves. Okay. Because what will happen is that our motives and real true feelings and thoughts about things are so deep and they can be so hidden from our conscious awareness that when we try to solve these problems through, you know, introspection and just really hard thought, what'll happen is that we a lot of times check this out we a lot of times invent answers that we feel are right and true but they're are very wrong so i thought that was fascinating because i know i've done that in my life you know when i was younger and trying to figure out like what my purpose in life was what should i do and i could not arrive i mean i really thought i was thinking hard about it and I wasn't able to arrive at anything. So I just kind of guessed, oh, I think I want to go into this field. Totally wrong. But it wasn't um, until much later that I discovered these things, right? So all I'm saying is that dreams can be so helpful because you are tapping into your unconscious mind. And when you start to really focus on, well, what did I dream about? What was I doing in this dream? And you start actually thinking about it. You can get some interesting clues into your subconscious mind, your, your real thoughts and feelings about things that are not otherwise known to you. So that's the trouble with people who just completely ignore that side and think that dreams are nothing but craziness. And I have met so many people like that. So I just wanted to put that out there because, you know, my own father, for example, he's always like, oh, give me a break. That doesn't mean anything. You know, just forget about it until of course he has a dream that bothers him. Then he, even he likes to know what it could possibly mean. But back to what I, what I'm trying to say why is it that these dreams are so revelatory? Obviously I've said that I believe, you know, God can speak to us through our dreams. And, if, and I do hold to that fact. I mean, it's, it's biblical, right? But even, even, I'm not saying it's always God. Sometimes it's like your own thoughts and that's biblical too. You know, a lot of times it's whatever you're thinking, you're going to think about. For example, as a teacher, I'm trying to figure out how to teach my students decimals. I'm trying to figure out the best way to teach them to understand decimals. So guess what? Last night in my mind, I was just dreaming and dreaming about how to teach them that concept. And I, even though I forgot most of the dream, it's in there. I worked it out and I have a plan and I'm going to execute it and it'll work great. I'm sure. But you know, my mind was actively thinking about it all night, which that can also be a problem because I almost feel like it, it kind of robbed me of my sleep. So anyway, 
but I think what happens is is that I've had some well let me back up I've had some really interesting dreams where there was revelation you know given to me that I pro I was not aware of for example one dream in particular that really sticks out in my mind okay was it happened a long time ago like 20 years ago I had a friend who I thought was like my best friend I mean we were very close and I I confided in her a lot and in my dream I had a dream in which she was talking bad about me behind my back telling people my secrets and I was able in that dream to see her real motives or feelings towards me and it you know and I again I don't really recommend doing this but what I did was I picked up the phone I immediately called her and said hey I know you're not my friend you know and you don't need to pretend anymore <laughs> and basically she I know you've been talking about me and she was just like oh wow like one thing she was 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 pretty honest and she was like oh gosh how did you know about this and I did so and so tell you what I said you know and it was interesting to me that you know I acted on this dream and it turned out to be true now you could argue well was it that God let you know this or was it just your own unconscious mind it really doesn't matter that much I guess I mean perhaps there were cues in her mannerism and the way she interacted with me that I didn't want to believe perhaps in my waking life that you know were true but yet in my sleep my unconscious mind you know I was able to deduce that in my sleep whereas I couldn't in my waking life you see what I mean either way I arrived at something that I, I couldn't I, I wasn't aware of consciously and so I know I'm rambling on but I'm just trying to say that there's power in looking at a little deeper into these dreams but then there's those dreams that are so you know so beyond your ability because to know okay because all I'm saying is when we're awake and we're conscious our brain our subconscious could be processing things that we're not even aware of people's looks on their face certain glances the way they interact it's like we communicate largely through nonverbal body language so a lot of what is said is not even verbal and maybe you're not consciously aware of it but in your sleep you're putting those pieces together but then what about those dreams where like there's no way you could have known it um, or even prophetic type dreams those are fascinating so for example let me give you just an example of that I had a neighbor when um, here where I live when I first moved in there was a neighbor across the street and you know they were wonderful people but I didn't really like them as neighbors because they had teenagers and they were like constantly coming and going all hours of the night using my driveway to turn around he had like a a horse um, well he had a horse somewhere else but he had a horse trailer that he'd park in front of my home all the time and like horse poop on my driveway you know it, it was just I was like thinking to myself man one of these people gonna move but I was secretly wishing that they would move but I didn't talk to them really other than just to say you know hi and just being neighborly however one night I had a dream in which basically the the man came I was talking to him and he just told me oh yeah we're gonna move we're, we're moving we don't really like it here anymore and we're, we're leaving and that's all the dream was so I, I remember waking up in the morning thinking I kind of thought what a weird dream that must just be me like wishing they'd move and so I dreamt that well interestingly 
just a matter of days later, before the end of the week, I came home from work and they had a for sale sign in their yard. How on earth could I have possibly known that without even talking to them? See, there's really interesting things that happen in our dream. And I know some people think it's like telepathic communication, you know, and I, I kind of agree with that really, but I just think it's fascinating and we could talk about it for so long. There's so many dreams I've had that are prophetic that did, you know, I dreamt something and then it happened. Another time I remember that I traveled to, you know, my hometown in Idaho and this was a long time ago, but I had a dream that I ran into an old friend and we were like, Hey, how's it going? How's it, have you been, you know? And this friend, oddly enough, did not live there anymore. She lived somewhere else in a different state. But when, you know, I woke up thinking, wow, maybe I'm gonna run into her. Uh, but I kind of thought it was doubtful because of the fact that she didn't even live there. Long story short, I went there and I ended up running into that uh, friend, that old friend, you know, at a department store. We just both happened to be shopping there. And just like in the dream, we had the same conversation. How have you been? How's it going? And it was almost like, it, it was like deja vu. So anyway, guys, all I'm trying to say is, has that, has that ever happened to you? Because it happens to me a lot. And that is one of the reasons why um, I really got very interested in dreams is because I think that they offer so much insight to our own subconscious motives and, and thoughts and feelings, and it can help us really tap into what we should be doing with our lives. That's really the takeaway. Like, what do I do? What do I pursue? What relationships, you know, do I have? It will show you things that maybe are It'll definitely show you things that are out of balance, relationships that are out of balance that you might need to take a step back from, or things that you need to pursue in your life as well. That's what I have found. So anyway, I hope that's been um, helpful and has caused you to consider your dreams and what kind of insight they're giving you in life. And I could talk about this for a long time, but we're going to stop right there. Thanks for watching.